if you saw what I saw, but I saw an angel. <laughs> Thomas Scott penetrates, bounces to Evan for the power. Later in the fourth quarter, Brad Mack bounces to Brad Hunt for the drive, a six point win. Connor with 14, Josh 17, Caleb 23, and then we host station camp. And the tip goes to the Mustangs, and it's a quick two points for Caleb Clayton Post. Mustangs get it to Connor Prady. Swing to Caleb Clayton, the three is good. Wisely doesn't take the shot. Slater on the drive, it's good. Back up top to Prady. Post feed to Brad McPherson. Josh Slater with it inside. Up and under, and it's good. Swing over to Hunt. He'll drive middle. Shot is good. And that is a great play. Drives left. Running jump from the lane. Scott with the ball on top. Post feed into Webb. Shot fake, goes through the contact, and it's good. Beneath the basket. And the pass deflected by Josh Slater. It's a two on one fast break. And the two point. Drive by it's Connor Frady. At the half, we led 47 to 32. They would cut it to nine. A play. The person down low, laying good in the foul. That was a pretty play. No look pass, stall, uh, stolen by Connor Freddy. Brings it up court, drives away, passes off to Brad Hunt. Lay up by Brad Hunt, it's good. Rebound, Evan Webb. Connor Freddy up the floor to Brad Hunt. Goes for the layup, good. Over to Connor Freddy. Behind that pass to Brad Hunt. Over to Evan Webb, lay it is good. We had an 80 to 68 win, Josh with 18 and Caleb with 23. Then we hosted Sycamore at the pre-Christmas Battle of the State Tournament at Allen Arena. To McPherson down low, good. To Brad Hunt, jump shot in the lane is good. Slater drives. Kicks it out to Simpson, and his three is good. Caleb Simpson over to Casey, who will bounce inside to Evan for the power, and we led by two after one, but would fall behind by eight. Josh beats his defender in the rest of the D, and Brad Hunt will take it this time, but we would trail at the half 27-23. In a close third quarter off roller, Caleb finds Brad Mack for the fake, the turn, and the score. He has it again, drives baseline. Little up and under there. But we would outscore Sycamore 24 to 12 in the fourth. Oh, no look pass. It's good. Slater with it up on top. He drives, spin move, fadeaway jumper is good. Slater drives, pretty. That was beautiful. Clayton's three is good. And find Simpson. Shots good. 65 to 54. Your David Lipscomb Mustangs. Thank you. Brad Hunt with 11, Caleb 17, and Josh 23. Next in the semifinals, White House. <laughs> Early in the game, Brad Hunt guns a three from the left side. Off a miss, Patrick hits Jordan underneath. We skip to Brad Hunt, the fake, the dribble, and the pull up. Caleb Simpson finding Brad Hunt at the high post, but we would trail 26 22 at the half. Casey finding Brad Hunt again at the high post. Around the horn, the skip to Brad Hunt for three. Next, Jordan will come open for three. On the break, Connor to Brad Hunt and the finish. 
another break, Josh to Caleb, but we would lose a late lead and would end up in overtime. Tied at 51, Brad Hunt will take a big hit early to get the ball back. On the fast break, Caleb gets us a lead with a big three. In the closing seconds, Evans free throws gives a three point lead and the missed shot by Whitehouse and a three point win. Brad Hunt with 18, Whitehouse would make it to the double A state at the end of the year. The championship game was against Brentwood Academy. Once again, here's Keith Smith. I about driving there. Thomas Scott up high. Gets Slater on the cut. Read this text message you just got. Caleb Clayton with the breakaway. Jump shot, good. I got it. Brad Hunt steals it. Slater. Read it. Yeah. Pull up jumper in the lane, good. Gets it to Slater. Slater's gonna drive. Pull up and under there. Slater drives again, dumps it off to Evan Webb. Shot fake is good, and so is the shot. Slater, spin move, drives the lane, makes the layup, 13 to eight Mustangs. What? Three, Slater's three is good. Nebraska Mustangs are being the Bruin Academy Eagles, 16 to 14. Slater has it. Tries driving, can't get it. Great pass to Clayton. Finger roll is good. Connor will drive with a nice pull up as we maintain a second quarter lead. 40 to go in the half. Slater three. There it is. So he'll throw it in. Three seconds to go, 3.9 to be exact. Prady will get the last shot in. Three, doesn't get fouled, it's good! Great shot, I thought he got fouled. That was sick. John McAllister think it's sick, I think it's healthy. 34-25, your David Lipscomb Mustang. Clayton's layup is good on the breakaway, 36-30. Motion. Low pin, never mind. Fade away is good. <laughs> Caleb Clayton, who was wide open. Mustang still had the lead. Slater, deep three. That falls. Great shot, 45-40. Good. Three, 50 to 46. Pulls it back out. Leaving Brady wide open, who's hot. Another three. 53-47. Brady, no look pass to Evan Webb. The shot's good, that was a great play. Brandon Brown, good. 56-55, Eagles take the lead. Good, nice pull up jumper there by Prady. Set hike. <laughs> Slater drives, it's good! Big drive there, that was nice. 59-58, 2.30 to go in the game. Our baseline, loses the ball! Brad Hunt gets it, gets it to Slater. Slater's gonna drive it himself. And one! He'll go to the line for one more! Slider. Good! Brad Hunt now throwing it in. And he gets 
puts it in at three seconds. Big time. That was a big play. You have to have free throws in a game situation like this. Yes, you do, and we do. Three-point lead the Mustangs have with 7.4 seconds to go on the clock against Brentwood Academy. <laughs> BA brings the ball down. Three, two, desperation shot, no good. Mustangs win it. David Linska Mustangs beat Brentwood Academy Eagles 65 to 62. It is now time to award the championship trophy to the Mustangs. It's all Lipscomb Mustangs. Caleb Clayton and Brad Hunt made the all tournament team, and Josh was the MVP as our record went to 10 and 1. It was then time for the first round of the Chuck Ross tournament against Houston Christian. Here's the skip to Brad Hunt for the baseline drive. Skip to Jordan and three. Caleb Simpson with the drive and the floater. As we had 20 quarter points. Brad Hunt gets hit in the second half from the high post, but hits it. Against the trap, Casey to Connor to a slashing Josh and one. Trevor Hunt with the up and under. Casey with the rejection, picks it up. Ahead to Thomas for the nice finish. Caleb Simpson with a nice baseline drive. Reed Hillen puts back a rebound. And Carter Mullins rebounds in traffic, finds Reed up high and the basket and a 76 to 60 win. Brad Hunt had 15. Second round against Germantown, here's Keith Smith. McPherson down low, gets fouled, could be and one. There's no good. Brady's 15 footer is good. He finds Slater, Slater's gonna push it. Great pass to Prady, shot fake and the, it's good. Slater behind the back, drives, good. No look pass to Trevor Hunt. Three. Picked off. Layup is good. Throws it into Casey Langford. Three is good. To Simpson, wide open three falls. Wide open for a three. He'll take it and make it. 49-32. Clayton, another three is good. With the 72-54 win, we went to 12 and one. Caleb had 31, hitting five of five threes in the second half. We would lose the championship game to Whitehaven, but fell behind by 20 in the second half. And here's some nice plays by players off the bench, and we would cut it to three late. two traveling to good pasture here early we get a nice fast break and finish but we trail 19 to 10 after one Jordan with a three and Brad Hunt will knock down a three and we rally for 24 second quarter points on the break Josh bounces to Caleb and one Evan will also hit the three as he gets the bounce Connor would bomb a three, and we would have a one-point halftime lead. In the second half, Brad Hunt will spot a cutting Evan Webb, but shortly after, Brad Hunt would suffer a concussion as his head will hit the floor twice. Listen.
later, Caleb pops out and bombs a three. In a close game later, Caleb drives and dumps to Brad Mack for the finish. Then Jordan with a key three late in the contest. We led by two in the closing seconds. They would miss the final shot. Evan had nine, Josh had 23. Brad Hunt would miss several games due to the concussion. We were 13 and two and traveled down O'Hickory Boulevard.